Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today's topic is the Big Red Band. In 1925, Harry Grant arrived in Tampa to work for the M.L. Price Music Company. By May of 1926, a music festival was held at Hillsborough High School. In the fall of 1926, Harry Grant was the head of the HHS Music Department, and the first Hillsborough High School band appears. Mr. Grant was the first chairman of the Florida Music Educators Wing of the Florida Education Association. In 1927, construction on the Big Red on Central Avenue began. Due to a lack of a proper band room, the band would perform outdoors in the auditorium and even under the stage. Bands during this era were all boys, but Mr. Grant established the first high school girls band in all of Florida. On occasion, the girls and the boys bands would combine. In 1930, Harry Grant went to Bradenton and Merlin Price stepped in as the Hillsborough High School band director. In 1933, Mr. Price left HHS to teach at the University of Tampa. A new band director was hired who was versatile and outstanding. His name was Amato Delgado. Mr. Delgado engendered loyalty in his students, which led to truly outstanding and sophisticated performances. His bands would win superior and first place awards at the Florida Bandmaster Association and national music festivals and competitions. During the 1940s, the Hillsborough High School Band was known for its high-stepping pageantry and its precise formations and maneuvers. By the late 1940s, Mr. Delgado was working closely with choral director Stephen Solak. Also, it was in this era that the moniker The Big Red Band was born. In late 1952, construction finally began on a proper music building at Hillsboro High School. During the 1950s, the Big Red Band made biannual trips to Havana, Cuba and performed at many state and national music festivals. The Big Red Band would perform before thousands of fans during the annual Turkey Day football game between Hillsborough High and Plant High. In the fall of 1956, Stephen Solak became band director. He would often regale his students with the tale of having once performed in the pit orchestra of an up-and-coming Frank Sinatra. Throughout the 1960s, the Big Red Band would make trips to Washington, D.C. to perform in the Cherry Blossom Festival. Mr. Solak was always innovative, but he did continue the traditions established under Mr. Delgado. Mr. Solak also established the first high school stage band in the state of Florida.
Mr. Solak embraced diversity when integration began in the 1960s. The music building was modernized during a 1976 renovation. After a legendary career, Mr. Solak retired from the Big Red in 1980. For the next two years, Thomas Ziegelhofer was the band director. He was known for his jazz ensembles and was eventually inducted into the Hillsborough County Music Educators Hall of Fame. In 1982, Don Cromer became band director. In 1984, Ted Hope became band director and instilled a sense of pride, stability, and community support for the band program, which he raised to a level of excellence. In 1987, Wayne Gallups became band director. He was a 1981 graduate of Hillsborough High School, and he would lead the band to its first superior rating since 1978. In 1989, George Farmer became band director, and he began the integration of new IB students into the band. Mr. Farmer led the Big Red Band throughout the 1990s on a positive trajectory. The band program grew during the 1990s and many superior performances were attained at FBA festivals. In 2001, Kim Meter became the first female band director in the history of Hillsborough High School. In 2005, during a renovation at Hillsborough High School, vandals destroyed much of the band's instruments. Nonetheless, Ms. Meter persevered. She kept HHS's show band traditions alive, but infused them with a balance of a marching decorum and attained many superiors at both marching and concert festival evaluations. A band creed was also written under her tenure, and in 2015, when Miss Meter left HHS, over 200 of her former students packed the Hillsborough High School football field to say goodbye. Mike Labrias became band director in 2015. And Jonathan Sims became band director in 2019. The Big Red Band continues to provide the soundtrack for Hillsborough High School. Please take care of yourselves, subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos, and as always, Go Big Red.